tiga padi kerja good job great monkey clever boy he's desperately trying to pull it down to his mouth Clever boy! If you take monkey off, you can have monkey in your hand. Morning guys! Um, today is the day that I get my blood tests, my second load of blood tests results. Um, we ran this morning because my doctor's surgery is weird and you have to ring at like 8 o'clock in the morning to make an appointment for that day. So we rang this morning, got through to them finally at 1 minute past 8. And there already was like no appointments till this afternoon, so I don't get my my appointments not until ten to three. Um, but yeah, I'm really nervous. I'm not feeling very good brain wise today. My mind's just like all over the place. I'm trying to keep him entertained. I'm trying to keep my brain from like wandering to bad places, and I feel really pants. So I'm watching the Great British Bake Off. Because I missed it last night because he goes to bed at the time it was on. So I'm watching that. That will cheer me up a little bit. And he's just started playing with like his toys and stuff. And he, only in the last couple of days he started interacting with like things. And like the cooing and the talking that you saw in yesterday's vlog and stuff like that. That's only really come about in the last two days. But he's really, really started to progress quickly. He's, he's like, he tells you when he's bored, that's for sure. He was just sitting with me, we were having a bit of a cuddle and he was getting really restless, so I put him back down and now he's absolutely fascinated. This is pretty awesome. He's talking to them and everything. But apart from that, I ran him into work this morning and I'm picking him up at half past two because he's going to come to the doctors with me just in case it is like... I don't even know what bad news could be. Like, I guess if it was hepatitis and I had to be on like medication, that's pretty bad. If it's gallstones, that's pretty bad. But... Saying that, I was meant to have a, um, my doctor actually requested an urgent ultrasound on last Friday. And bear in mind, it's now Thursday. And I've had no contact from the hospital whatsoever about getting this, like, ultrasound scan done. So, she's probably expecting me to go in and, you know, say that I had my scan done. But I haven't had any, any contact from them. So, I guess she'll have to chase that up if she wants it done soon. But yeah, I'm trying to stop my mind from going all over the place and thinking of the worst. Um, so today's going to be pretty fun. I really don't feel too good. Oh well. Days like this happen. Days like this happen. Bug's actually gone upstairs. I think he's sulking because he wants to sit next to me. And currently next to me looks like this baby stuff. It's not, it's not too uh, tidy, that's for sure. We're picking him up so he can come to the doctor's with me and keep Scout occupied whilst I talk to the doctor, obviously, because I want to be able to take everything in. So that is what I'm doing right now. It has not been my morning this morning. Bug has been really misbehaving. He has been barking every single little noise that he possibly could. And the cat had a fit, so I had to um, hold the baby because he was asleep in my arms at the time. Stop Bug from going to mischief because he likes to fuss over her when she's having a fit. Try and calm Mischief down and bring her out of her fit because talking to her helps. And then clean up pee because she peed everywhere as she went into her fit. So it's not really been my morning this morning. I have been really frazzled yet again. And yeah, it's mighty, mighty warm. So I've got all windows open if possible. Well, say all the windows, two of the windows open because that's all that opens in my car. Um, Scout is in sunshine, so I've had to kind of shield him with a muslin. I'm waiting for Liam, so... <sighs> Stressed out. I'm just really hoping that these results are okay and that my levels have gone down and that it was kind of a false alarm. But, you know, the way that today's been so far, it's probably going to be the worst thing possible. But I'm kind of going into it with a clear brain to try and not think about it, because if I think about it too much, then... I'll just panic. And that is not something that wants to happen, or I want to happen. I'm not too sure what we're doing afterwards. I know Liam said he probably wants to get some lunch. Um, we're gonna have to get some change out anyway for the car park. 
and he's coming now. I might have to toot, he won't see me. Yahoo! <laughs> so yes, we shall see what happens and I'll let you guys know. Go, go, Chunky, go! Mr. I want to kick my legs. Oh. What are you doing? No. Oh. Oh. I do, but I'm trying to eat your mat. I know I need to honor my Hi guys, so it's now the next morning and I figured I should probably wrap up this vlog because I didn't get a chance to even touch the camera after I last sort of checked in with you yesterday. So basically, we went to the doctors and it was all good news. Um, all of my levels are back to normal, pretty much halved. Um, she actually told me what what my levels were and what you know for each thing, like my liver function and all this that and the other and. They were really high last time. I can see why she was worried because they were really, really high and now they're back within the normal range and they've halved what they were like four or five weeks ago when I had those first blood tests done because it's been that long. Um, it's now been about that long. It's been about four or five weeks since I had my last pain. Um, but since then I've changed my diet and she says that could be why it's getting better. Um, she says it could be the fact that my diet was so bad that was causing the issue in the first place. Um, especially if I've got gallstones, um, that could have, you know, created a flare up. She still wants me to go to have a scan when the hospital finally gets in touch with that, if they get in touch, because I am pretty sure that the receptionist at my doctor's forgot to send off the request form. Because it was marked as urgent and it's now been a week and I've not heard from them, so I don't think it's been sent off. Um, so if that comes about, she still wants me to go for a scan just to make sure there's nothing weird going on because she says it was really strange that they were so incredibly high and now, sort of four or five weeks later, they're back to normal all of a sudden. So she wants me to go for the scan and she wants me to have more blood tests done in two weeks time, um, which I probably should have booked whilst I was at the doctor's actually. I have to remember to do that. Um, yeah, she wants me to go to have blood tests done in two weeks time just to check that my levels are still in the normal range and haven't gone back up. So there's that, it's all pretty good news. And the only thing she did mention is that my vitamin D levels are very low and I need to take supplements, which I need to take this morning whilst I remember. Um, so yeah, I'm not getting enough sunshine and I've not got enough vitamin D, which is something of its own. So I've got some supplements and I'm going to be taking those three times a day and hopefully my vitamin D will come up and now the sun's disappeared, who knows when I'm going to get some sunshine, but maybe I'll go out, start going out a bit more and get some sunshine. And then we came home and Liam was going to go back to work but then decided to come home and work from home so he disappeared upstairs straight away and I pretty much didn't see him all night, he didn't come to bed until 11 o'clock. I'm getting really frustrated, really 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 frustrated to the point where I, I think I snapped at him too much this morning because he's been working so hard for like the past week which means I haven't had a break with Scout either and it's still the week after his jabs and he's still completely out of any kind of routine that we had before. His night time is totally messed up. Last night was the first night he actually slept decently um, but because we've had so many sort of odd nights before that I'm incredibly tired. Um, so yeah we had a bit of a tiff this morning because I was tired <laughs> and it's been really difficult, so I didn't get a chance to even pick up the camera yesterday. Scout, well, the minute we got home, Scout started screaming and he was really unhappy until he went to bed. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, sorry I didn't get to finish the vlog properly. Um, you guys are going to see this pretty much all day in tomorrow's vlog because I'm having a pyjama day and I'm not moving from the sofa and I'm 
well, I say that. I'll probably get really bored and try to do stuff around Scout, but we'll see how he goes. Anywho, none of that. We shall see you guys tomorrow. Hope you've had a really good midweek. No, it's Thursday. Oh, my brain is frazzled. I don't even know what day it is anymore. Anywho, I said that already. I will see you guys tomorrow.